Alrighty. More am I glad this is expanded steel down here, or chain link, whatever you want to call that, because that allows the mess I made of my pants to just fall right through to the ground. Alrighty, hello and welcome to the channel. For today's video, we're going to do another little bug check. Uh, let's see, Quattro Kalinas. We just did some uh, goats and stuff and things on there. And there were some weird road stuff and things. And their very first one is fixed floating roads and weird terrains in different reserves. So I kind of want to check that out. Tracking HUD showing obsolete score when spotting animal. So I wonder if that means that's the reason that uh, like on certain of the Ibex and everything that you would sit there and spot it and it would say, hey, it's it's trophy class is going to be somewhere between A and B. But instead it would come out way below A. All right. Well, either way, head to Quattro Colinas and see what's what. All right, let's see. Uh, last time we were here, there was a road right off the backside here, wasn't it? Where was the road over here that was having issues? It was, uh... All right, it was definitely... This one here it does look like it's been fixed. Because this is where I took the ATV. Well, let's grab the ATV. Let's just do that. We'll make life a little simpler for ourselves. Yeah, this was it, wasn't it? One of the great things about this uh, ATV free valet service, just leave it there and you can call it back anytime. Something, what's that running up there? Ah. Uh. Not a half bad looking road here, is it? Mouse. Switch to round ball. Or not. Turn. <laughs> Miss entirely. Good job. I'm not exactly sure how I missed entirely. Zero side is 110 yards for the round ball. And what was that distance there? I was like 250. I was aimed way too low. Okay, well, now I know. But on the plus side, the road is a road. So let's go find out what we're going to shoot today. And obviously, I'm going to be using the black powder rifle. Matter of fact, I'm going to go visit an old tent of mine, which is up this way. Wow, still a lot of hunting pressure there. All right, so we're early morning. We're in the Goat Cliff area, whatever you want to call this. And I'm going to attempt to get down to one of my little ledges over here. Now, I do have the compound with me still, so if there's an opportunity to use it, we can use it. But if not, black powder. All right, in position. Now we just wait. Maybe waste a little money while we're at it. All right, now I haven't been to this area since, I can't remember if it was a live stream or a video, but I brought Angel here because she needed to make some money. And this area is always swarming with the seed Ibex and Mouflon. I, there's nothing. I've been here about an hour. Now, of course, I can't see to that end of the lake, but usually they're wandering around here and then they travel their way up the hillside or they go up that way nothing so i'm gonna wait a little bit longer but i guess we might have to move and check somewhere else hmm there's wolves do i still have a tree stand up over here that's that way you know what let's head over jesus oh I don't know if anyone else heard that, but there was the, that little whimper, that little whine. I need to put a waypoint so I know where I'm going. Down there. Okay, let's go. There's wolves nearby, because as soon as I try, you know what, I'm going to book it. Where are you? There you are. All right. So that little, 
the sound that it made as soon as I traveled here. That is the a mating call, I think? Many moon ago, I did a video. Uh, they're kind of cute when they're not trying to eat you. And right there. They were right there eating. And I have that zone. So I don't want to delete that zone. So I don't want to take too much in this area. But that was discovered during my like three days and 26 hours of hunting trying to find a melanistic wolf. Where'd that... Not a bad looking three right there. Not you, not you, you. Look at that thing. It's a 178 for easy. I can't remember. Oh man, I can't. Where are they headed? Let's see. Let's see. I don't know what scared him more, me or what? I have another stand over here. Tree stand? Oh yeah, there it is. Ooh. Down there. I'm glad this is expanded steel down here, or chain link, whatever you want to call that, because that allows a mess I made of my pants to just fall right through to the ground. Didn't manage to catch any of the damn uh, ibex. I'm pretty sure those ibex, their zone is over here. Yeah, why the heck not? And there they are. Down, there's that uh, female that we just had coming across. Still fleeing. Who are they headed back? Alright, I went back and checked, and no, it, it looked like she was just spinning around because of render range or something. So, the next thing is, I have a zone over here for Ibex. And they are, oh. Right down there, there's the 176. Wasn't there a bigger one in that group? Was it you? 176. 170. There was a 178 in there, wasn't there? Okay, those two are small. Sounds like the rest are actually working their way up and around over here. Alright, I gotta, I gotta spook them. Oh, don't get stuck. Come on, you bastard. Move. I need him to spook back that way a little bit so I can... That's a 127. That's a 170, 135, 176. I could have sworn there was a 178 in that group. So right now you're looking like my best bet. So once they get done spooking, they should... Run around this way. I'm probably entirely wrong about that, but... Hey, hang on a second. What's that there? That doesn't look like a goat. 
or sheep or whatever you want to call them. That didn't look like an ibex. Wolves. Can I get you guys to come in? I can never get them to respond to callers. Look at those buggers all the way the heck over there. Just trying to pick the biggest one and now I shouldn't have, I should have just taken that 176 instead of waiting for that 178 to come in. I'm I'm sorry, that's a drinking zone? All the way wait, what? Yeah, sure, okay. So there's a 172 peak in there. That's nervous. Well, of course you're nervous. You're supposedly drinking out of the ground. I'd be nervous too. Lord knows what's in that water. So I think if I want the site zeroed, I want to get to 164 yards. God, they're down in there. I just can't get a clear line of sight on them. There we go. You're the 149. You're the 132. You're the 172. Yeah. <sighs> Having the foggiest idea. Did I really miss? Hang on. Get up on this rock here. Huh? How did I... Did I shoot the rock? Yep. Nothing. I, I must have shot the rock or something. There's a 175. So it's not the 178. I'm very in it's interesting how they're like point to point like that. Because I've seen a 170, a 172, a 176, 178, and now a 175. I, there's no way I missed again. How? I definitely hit him. Did he just die behind that? Yeah, I think he did. So it's not necessarily that I missed. I just don't think I caught the lung like I thought I did. From you? You're at 162. You wouldn't be bad either. That one dropped. Although I'm pretty sure he turned his head at the last second and I shot him in the face. Alright, so you were the 175. How that badly did I screw you up? Oh. A pair of females. Okay. Just over the back. Flesh shot. He would have come out of 155.6. Um, okay. No vital organ hit. So he would have been just into gold. That is just into gold. And then I blew away another one. Somewhere up there, wasn't it? You know what I might do is I'm going to run over here grab this. I might go back on my ledge for a little bit and see what else wanders through. Might find some mouflon or something. Confirm trophy. Oh, he's dead in this bush. Somewhere. 
Oh no, this is him. And he came out of 144.3. But I got all my things. So that's a silver. Alright. For some reason I thought he was gray in color. Right there. He's alert. It's my wind. That got him. And I think that was the last uh, male in that group. So he's a, yeah, man, silver is a wide range on these guys. All right. I think I'm going to head up to the outpost and check this area one more time. All right, I got a 169 over there. He's 300 yards out. I can't take that, but if I can work my way across this hill, maybe get to an interception point. Money right up there? Yeah. Now, that's a different one. Because the last group that came through, there was like a 133, uh, the 170, and the 176, and then I thought there was a 178. There's the 162. Another one of those bizarro drinking zones. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. I don't know where that second one went either. It looks like I got a pretty good shot at being able to get a nice clean shooting alley here at about 164 yards. If I just keep walking straight up like this. The real question is going to come up, is he going to cooperate? Because he's already turned to a bad angle. Alright, so I guess now the name of the game is to sit and wait for him to present me a better shot than that. I'll take a quartering shot, but he does need a quarter a little bit. Oh, <laughs> he heard me. I was going to go ahead and take the shot when he turned his neck around, because I figured I could sink it into at least one lung. And again, it gave me a zone, but is it supposed to be that zone? Why? How is he drinking all the way the heck over here? Why? What? I'm a little miffed. It's like when that 162 came by, he suddenly snapped and realized, This isn't water, I'm sucking on a rock! Uh, Alright, you know what? Let's get back up here. Because chances are he's going to come across down here somewhere. I can't tell if that's a bizarre coloring. By the way, is it just me or like almost all of these max weight? 242, 242, 242. All right, there we go. There's a small one, 201. All right, they're going to cross over there. I'm going to get across over here. Bingo. 221. Max trophy, max weight. That's, that's the ticket right there. That's the one I want. So I need to get way over here. I need to be able to get ahead of them. Where'd he go? Is that him down there? That's him. Okay. That was a mating call. No way, where are you going? Shoot, where is he going? He's going that way. I gotta get back up. Well, not now, Gizmo. You better grow a set of knees and use them. I thought he was going to come up this way. He's not. He's going to head over here. There's another uh, ledge over here that they like to come up. Here we go. He's cruising in. <gasps> no. Oh no, we got him. 
We definitely got along. With how quick he dropped right there, we definitely got along. Oh, I got scared for a second there. Can I please place a waypoint? Can I please thank you? I don't know why this thing... That was just that the range where a lung is probably all I was going to get. But there we go. So that's it. I think that said he was a 242. That's... That's still broken. Oh my god. I think he said it was a 242 and it was max trophy 221. So he's not a 5. But he's a big 4. So he's probably going to come out... I'm going to say somewhere in the 180s, 190s. Oh yeah, there he is. Look at that bugger. Ah, oh, that push doesn't go down. Alright, let's see what he was. I'm sorry, what? I didn't get the vital organ hit. And he was a massive gold, a 196. But I didn't lead enough. What? I... I... The lung. It's right there. I mean, look, the horns are so big you can't even fit them in the thing. Which is dumb. Who designed this? Here, let's zoom in so much to where you can't even see him. I'm just frustrated with that. I can't believe I screwed that up. I do. I can believe it. It's perfectly believable that I screwed that up. I rush my shots. I always rush my shots. 196.6. 10.7 points from Diamond. But I don't care. That's still going to the Lodge. And quite frankly, on that major disappointment, all my stuff is gone. There we go. On that major disappointment, I'm calling it on this one. Uh, I was very interested in seeing that, uh, yay, they fixed the roads. Almost every single one of my Besiege Ibex are max weight potential. And I can still screw shots up. I guarantee you if I had the 30 yacht, that would have been a lung. Oh my lord, that is frustrating. Anyways, that does it for this one. So there's buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons to push. Until next time.